mom is so special. And then we'll pick a winner by the end of this hour. And that's for the Sunday game? I believe so. Day yeah, day. for the Mother's Day Great. game. We're going to welcome in Deanna Rosenthal now. She's the Executive Director of the Community Blood Bank of Northwest PA. We're talking Donor Appreciation Day. Welcome, Deanna. Hi, thank you. Thanks so, for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. So um, May ends up being one of the most exciting months at the Community Blood Bank. Uh, it's This year will be our sixth annual Donor Appreciation Day. It's going to be held next Friday, May 17th, and we're actually open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., so we're open a, a really long time. Um, the event itself is from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., but it's really a day that we celebrate our donors who have achieved milestones over the past year, mm -hmm. and then it also serves as like an open house to the community. So mm -hmm. it's a great time to donate if you're a first-time donor um, or, you know, it's been a while, but anyone that donates on that day, so from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., they get vouchers to food trucks that we have. So we have E-Dogs and vintage uh, wood-fired pizza mm -hmm. truck and Smiley's ice cream. So they get vouchers for all of that. They get entry into um, 24 gift card gift giveaway, like a raffle. Um, they get a special donor day t-shirt and entry into our kayak giveaway, which is our month long oh, wow. May yeah. giveaway. So yeah. a, a great day again yeah, to, why to not? donate and, and get some rewards. Um, our donors get rewarded that day too, which is great. Um, it's just ends up being, a, you know, just a really fun day. And if you're ever curious what happens to your blood after you donate, we always are excited to give tours of the blood bank so you can see the lab, what oh, happens kind of behind the yeah. scenes. Mm -hmm. We hear all the time how there is such a need for blood in our area. What's yeah. our current um, level like here so locally? So it's, um, usage has been high lately um, mm -hmm. and donor turnout has been low. I was actually just saying, I think it's a little bit of the sicknesses going around. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be healthy and feeling right. healthy and well to donate. So I think that's been a little bit of our issue. Um, you know, 60% of the population is eligible to donate, but locally, less than 2% do each year. Oh, so, wow. kind of a, um, an alarming stat when you think about right. it. So, you know, talk about how easy though it is to come oh, in yeah. and donate. So, uh, it takes you know less than an hour of your time, start to finish. But um, you come in, you fill out some paperwork about yourself, you know, your medications, any travel history. You go back to get like a mini physical, the screening booth. You donate, which that takes about five to ten minutes total. You have some snacks, a drink after, and then you're on your way. So, yeah. what's um, really the simple. biggest myth about donating blood that keeps people away? Um, I think mostly it's it's oh I can't donate, or you know they just for whatever reason they think maybe they're not eligible. Mm -hmm. When again, like I said, sixty percent mm -hmm. of the population is. So that's probably not true. And and it's such a simple phone call. You know we don't have an automated system, so you can just call us, get a live person and we can walk you through that and see if you'd be eligible. Do you have to know your blood type or can you figure that out once it's been donated? Yep, we test um, the blood obviously every time you donate and that's mm -hmm. one of the tests that's done on it. And a lot of times that's the reason people donate for the first time because a lot of people don't know their don't blood know. type. Yeah. So it's a, yeah. kind of an added bonus. If right. it's, yeah. You talked about next Friday how you're honoring some of your big donors. Talk mm -hmm. about some of the milestones that you'll be recognizing. Yeah, so the first milestone that people hit is a five gallon achievement. And so, um, you know, eight pints, equal a gallon. So um, it takes about, if you donate six times a year, which you're able to donate every 56 days. So if you donate that every 56 days for um, about six to seven years, it takes to hit that first milestone. Oh, so wow. it's a really, you know, a lot of people never even hit that. Right. But we're honoring people that hit 30, 35 gallons. I mean, wow, huge that's gallon amazing. achievements. Oh, my yeah. Goodness. yeah, amazing. <laughs> Great. Well, Deanna, thanks so much for being here. And again, this is happening one week from today, mm -hmm. next Friday, May 17th, right over there at the Community Blood Bank, right down the street from us, mm -hmm. uh, 26th and Peach Street. There's the phone number and website if you have any questions. But again, uh, you're probably able to give blood even if you think you aren't. And they'll yeah. help sort that out Absolutely. over at the Blood Bank. Yeah. Thanks, Deanna. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you being in today. Mm -hmm. When we come back here on